Hello everyone. Today I want to discuss about gray securets. So gray securets are designed to be used on specific tooth surface, thus improving adaptation and deposit removal. So the important point about gray securets are they are area specific. So each gray securet is designed in a way so that it can be used on a specific tooth surface. For example, different gray securets are made to be used on the mesial surface and to be used on the distal surface. The mesial surface for a posterior gray securet is different from that of the distal surface posteriors of gray securets. Okay. So next is the blade design. Blade design, the important part that you should remember that is the blade is offset from the shank at 70 degree to the side. You should remember the angle that is 70 degree. And the basic blade design, uh, you should understand. It has a face, toe, a lateral side. And uh, like I already told, the shank is at 70 degree to the side. And uh, the blade has a rounded toe and a back. The cross section usually resembles a half circle. Cross section resembles, like you can see, cross section it will resemble a half circle. Now coming to various uh, gray securets. And uh, you can notice the difference in shank designs of the standard gray securets here. From 1, 1, 2 to 70, 18. Uh, you should understand that this all are designed to be used on specific two surfaces so number from 1 to set to 17 18 now this is the important part that is which all gray securet the, uh, based on the shine variations the gray securets can be used on different tooth surfaces for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 are used on anteriors like you can see here this black and ash color 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 used in the anterior. You can see here anteriors upper and lower anteriors from here. I will just from here to here and upper anteriors also here to here. You can see it is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6. So you should remember the number anteriors 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then coming to the you can see 7, 8 and 9, 10. So 7, 8 and 9, 10 which is represented by blue color here. This is for just for understanding purpose. So blue color you can see the buccal and lingual surface of the posteriors. You can see all buccal. I will write it down. Buccal and lingual surface of all posteriors. And here buccal and palatal surface of all posterior maxillary posteriors. Buckle and so you should remember buckle 7, 8, and 9, 10 are for buckle, lingual, or palatal of posteriors. Palatal. Then coming to 11, 12, which is represented by this pink color. See, you can see the mesial surface. Mesial surface is 11, 12, and 15, 16. So 11, 12 and 15, 16 are mesial surface of posteriors and this green color is the distal surface. Distal surface, pink is the mesial. So the color is just for representation or for understanding purpose. So 13, 14 and 17, 18 are for distal surface of the posteriors. So once again to summarize. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are 4 anteriors, anteriors, then 7, 8, and 9, 10 are for buccal, lingual, or palatal surface of posteriors, 11, 12, and 15, 16 are for mesial, and 13, 14, 17, 18 are for distal surface of posteriors. Okay, so this is the this can be asked in the question like uh, in this uh, tooth segment or surface area, tooth area or surface which gray securet can be used. Which gray securet are we supposed to use in this part of the mouth. So you should remember these numbers and where it can be used.
थैंक यू